We're going to start on the mat. We're going to start facing the mat on our hands and our knees. But first, let me tell you, today's practice, we're going to use blocks. I'll sh probably show you some ways to use blocks that you've never used them before. The beauty and practicality of blocks is they not only meet you where you are, they push you to go beyond where you think you can go with the reach and with a stretch. So with that, let's start on your hands and your knees. Welcome, my name is Kelly, if I didn't introduce myself, and this is Maxwell over here in the corner. Um, so come to your hands and your knees, spread your fingers and separate your knees, bring your big toes together and sink your glutes back into your heels and reach your arms forward. Feel the stretch of your arms. Maybe you feel your trapeze, your, well, your um, triceps from yesterday's strength training. Now move your body just side to side a bit between your legs, stretching the sides. And I'm pressing my hands down. My head is hovering. Now lift up and reach your hips towards the mat. Keep your knees down on the ground. Then shift your hips back again towards your heels. Push into your hands and maybe tap your forehead to the ground right there. It'll stretch your shoulders. Now I want you to hug your arms in, press into your hands, and then lift up and shift your hips forward right there, and then bring it back again. Now this time, shift forward, tuck your toes, and lift up into plank right there. Set your knees down, come into child's pose. Tap your forehead. Do it again, shift forward, tuck your toes and plank right there. Set your knees down, put the top of your feet flat on the floor, child's pose. So moving from child's pose to plank, strong plank hold right there, set your knees down and child's pose. Lift up, pull in your abs, squeeze your thighs, plank pose. Set your knees down. Plank pose. Now taking this a little bit to a more difficult position. Shift forward. Again, tuck your toes. Plank. Now plank to downward facing dog. Reach your heels towards the back of the mat. Shift forward. Plank. Set your knees down if you have to. Downward facing dog. Push the floor away. Plank to downward facing dog. Breathe, exhale, shift forward plank. Now draw from your abs, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Again, one more time, plank, downward facing dog. Shift forward plank, lower down to the mat all the way. You can put the top of your or press the top of your feet into the floor, slide your hands back a bit, draw your elbows in, press into the floor, lift up your chest away from the floor, moving cobra pose, lower down, look down at your mat, lift up, pull the shoulders away from the floor, warming up the spine, elbows draw in towards the body, then lower. Do that again, lift up, and look forward, and lower. Do it again one more time. Lift up, press into your hands, press your feet into the floor. Don't let the feet lift up. Exhale and lower. Now place your forearms on the floor, Sphinx pose. Press your forearms into the mat and just look over your right shoulder. Look back at your back at the leg, the foot, and then look forward. Pre keep pressing into your forearms, pulling your elbows towards your hips. Now look over the left shoulder and then center. Do that again. Look over the right shoulder. A little twist right there, or a little side bend, and then center. Turn the other way. Carefully press the pelvis down into the ground. Pull your shoulders back. Look over the other shoulder. One more on each side. Sphinx. 
looking over the side. And now slide your hands onto the mat, lift up into tabletop position. Bring your right, lift your chest up, bring your right foot forward, shift your hips forward, hand on the floor, reach up with your right arm, and then rotate under. Lizard with rotation, reach up, rotate under, reach up and then rotate under. Plus, place the top of your foot on the floor on, back there, reach under, and then reach up. Reach under and behind the arm, and then reach up. Do that again. And then reach up. And now place your hands on the center and bring your knee underneath you again. Uh-oh, you need to go out. Now bring your left leg forward, place your right hand on the floor, shift your hip forward, reach up with the left arm, rotate under. Keep doing that, reach up and rotate under, keep going. All right, get your chicken, get your chicken. Maxwell, Maxwell. Bye Maxwell. Lizard with rotation on this side, reach up and then under, reach up, and be sure your fingers are spread and place the foot on the floor, flat on the floor behind. And bring that leg underneath you, cat cow. So cow pose to cat pose. Press the tops of the feet into the floor, cat, and then cow. Inhale, exhale. Bring your right foot forward again. Shift your hip forward. One more time, lizard with rotation, reach up, rotate under. Just do that three times, two, then one more, and hold right here. Place your hand on the floor. Bring your blocks. Right, in, right between your feet, place your forearms right there. Lift up the left leg. So shift forward and shift back. My foot on the floor over here is turned out slightly. My knee is over my ankle right here. Shift forward and shift back. You can also move your blocks up to a higher level if that's too much for you right there. It's the beauty of these blocks. There's three levels, three heights. Set your knee down. Put the blocks forward just slightly, put them into the floor, <laughs> and then lift up, downward facing dog. The other side, left foot forward, shift your hip forward, lizard with the rotation. Reach up and rotate under. Reach, rotate under. Do it one more time. And then hold, keep your hips shifted forward, place the blocks on the inside of your foot right there. You can turn them up or turn them lower. Forms on the mat or on the box right there. Breathe in and breathe out. Move the box forward. Bring your knees underneath you right there. So tabletop position. Now place your left hand behind your head, behind your ear, just have it touch. Now I want you to rotate and touch your elbow and then reach up towards the elbow, towards the sky, and then reach underneath right there again. Do that two more times. Touch and reach one more time. And then place your hand on the floor. Let's do the other side. So right hand, elbow up, out of the peripheral vision, touch the elbow to the inside of the other elbow, and then lift up. Look up towards your elbow as you reach. Look up, reach the elbow and touch. Do it one more time, warming up the spine. And now let's take it to your back. Now we'll use the weights. So lower down all the way. Grab your weights. 
Have your head comfortably flat on the mat. Lift up your legs 90 degrees like this. Reach the weights straight up, straight arms. So keep your knees where they are, keep your arms how they are, and we're gonna move opposing limbs. So extend the left leg straight, reach the right arm overhead, touch, and then lift up. Chain sides, touch, lift up. Again, reach and touch, chain sides, pressure back into the floor. Dead bug with weights. Up. Do that four more times. Four. Three. Two. Bend your knees. One. Hold right here. Place the weights on the floor. Grab your knees and then roll up. Come onto your hands and your knees. Move the weights forward. We'll use them later. Reach the right arm. Place the right hand behind their head. So our fingertips just touching behind the ear. Extend the left leg back. Similar to bird dog where you have a straight arm, I want you to have your elbow bent right here, hand behind the ear, and touch the elbow to your knee. And then lift. And when you lift, reach that arm up out of the peripheral vision, touch, and then lift. Do it again, touch, and you can flex your foot right there, bring it in, touch, keep your balance by spreading your fingers right here, grab this hand that's on the mat, do it again, one more time, touch, and now change sides. Hand on the floor, opposite hand behind the ear, leg out, right leg out. So bring the elbow in and touch your thigh, or just try to at least reach towards it. Spread your right hand, your fingers, touch and reach. Touch. I have my toes tucked under on the left foot, helping my balance. Strong core crunch right there. Do it one more time. And now place your hand on the floor, tuck your toes, lift up, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, step your right foot forward. Move while you're here, move those weights out of the way and grab your blocks. So blocks on the mat, set your knee on the floor. So low lunge right here and then walk your blocks back, half split right there. Foot on the floor, walk the blocks forward, and then walk it back. Flex your foot. Press your heel down into the floor. Foot flat, shift forward, and then walk it back. Press your heel down. And now place the blocks on the floor, downward facing dog. You can have your hands on the blocks in downward facing dog or on the mat. Lift up the left leg, step your left foot forward beside your block, set your knee down. So here in the low lunge position, you guys, so here, here, or here, the highest level. And then just walk the blocks back right there, flex your foot, draw the hip under. And you can really advance your practice by changing, by Practicing on the low, on the higher height, and then as you get warmed up, lower the blocks to a lower level. Right there, one more time back. And then forward. Place your blocks where your hands will go. Place your hands on the blocks. Lift up the left leg, downward facing dog. Breathe, lift up your right leg. Step your right foot between your blocks, right there. Set your left heel down. Grab your blocks, lift up into warrior one position. Reach the blocks up straight overhead. And you can push the blocks in towards each other. Palms on the outside of your blocks right there. Keep pressing your hands towards each other. Relax your shoulders. 
Now reach the weights, or the weights, the blocks forward. Lift your heel right there. Then turn your blocks facing down. Place the blocks on the floor. Hands on the top of the blocks. Lift up the left leg. Warrior three right there. Straighten the right leg. Square the hips to the mat. And maybe try to take the hands up off the, off the blocks with your strength. There's your warrior one position. Arms out, or warrior three. Arms to the side. And then forward. Hands on the blocks. Set your foot on the floor. Left foot on the floor. Place the blocks down. Hands on the blocks Downward facing dog, left side. Lift your left leg up, three limb dog, push the floor away. Step your left foot between your blocks. Look forward first, then put your left, your right heel down, grab the blocks on the ends, and then lift up, push the blocks in towards each other. So press the blocks towards each other, the hands into the sides of the blocks, knee over the ankle in the front, then reach the blocks forward, reach, reach, reach. Turn your right heel up and lift. Take your blocks and reach them to the floor. Warrior three, right there. So with the blocks, much more supported warrior three position. Then just try, lift your hands up off the blocks right there. Lift the leg, hold it strong. Arms to the side, reach back. Reach forward, hands to your blocks, set your foot down, move the blocks in, hands on the blocks, downward facing dog. Warrior two position, or let's, let's practice that one more time. Right leg up, step your right foot between your blocks. Spin your left heel down, grab the blocks on the ends or on the long side, reach the blocks up together. Press the hands in towards each other, engaging the arm muscles. Then reach forward, reach forward, and lift your left leg. And then bring the blocks down. Your body straight. Abs in. Now just try. Lift your hands off the blocks. Use your leg strength. Hold. Arms out to the side. Airplane. Whoops. Come back if you fall out. Airplane. Don't move too quickly. Arms out and forward, set your foot down, place the blocks flat, hands on the blocks, downward facing dog, lift your left leg up, step your left foot forward between the blocks, right heel down, blocks together, reach up, reach forward, so lean in, lift the heel, lift the leg, use your strength. Using the strength of the leg and then hip blocks down right here, leg straight. Standing leg, left leg, lift your hands off the blocks, arms to the sides. Balance, relax the shoulders, arms back, arms forward, hands down. Set your foot on the floor, nicely done. Place the blocks, hands on your blocks, downward facing dog. Coming to warrior two now. Reach the right leg up. Step your right foot forward. Spin your left heel down. Grab both blocks and reach up. One forward, one back right there. So like you're gonna hand someone that forward block, but then reach the, the back hand, that left hand back, knee over the ankle in the front. Reach up and over the ear right there and then side angle. So side angle, much easier with the block, especially on the higher level right there. Reach the arm over the ear. Dancing warrior, reach back, reach up and over. Tap the back of the leg with the block, arm over the ear, and then reach over. And maybe bring the block on the back side of the foot and the leg, reach up a little more of a stretch for the inner thigh. Keep your hips where they are, reverse. Last time, and then side angle, place the block on the outside of the leg, reach up and over. Now look down, coming into half moon pose. So what you're gonna do, use your block, step your left foot in, use that block, move it forward, move it forward more. Keep it on this high level, stretch that right leg out as you lift the left leg up, pull the shoulder back, reach the opposite block up straight. So from one block, 
to the other block, a straight line. Breathe, flex your foot. Set your left foot down. Slide your box onto the mat. Press into the box. Lift up, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Left foot between your blocks. Step forward. Set your right heel down. Grab your blocks. Reach up and over. Tap our warrior two first. You can turn your blocks like this so they're long whenever you place them on the ground. Right there, look back at your back hand and reach that back arm. Knee over the ankle in the front. Reverse, tap the back calf. Reach the opposite arm up. And then side angle, side angle. Go ahead and reach the block for the floor right there on the inside of the ankle. Reach up and then over the ear. There's your side angle. Reach back. Up and over. Reverse. Knee out. And now reach over this time. Place the block on the outside of your ankle. Reach the arm over your ear. Reach back. Reverse. And last time, side angle. Right here. Reach up and over the ear. Look down. Knee over the ankle. And here's where we're going to go into half moon. So that balancing pose, you got to slide your foot in. Move your block forward. Place your hand on the top firmly. Lift up your right leg. Flex your foot. Draw your shoulder back. So open your body to the side. And then reach the opposite arm up. Beautiful. Flex your foot. Set your foot on the floor. Slide your hands. Blocks to the mat. Hands on the blocks. Press into the blocks. Downward facing dog. Let's do that again. One more time. Practice. Right leg up. Three limb dog. Abs in. Now look forward. Step your right foot forward. Spin your left heel down. Grab your blocks. Go ahead and reverse. To side angle. Put your Block on the outside of your leg, reach up and over the ear. One more time, reverse. We're gonna go right into half moon pose. So gaze where you're gonna look forward, see where you're gonna place the block, slide your foot in, lift up the leg, reach the opposite arm up, flex your foot, straight leg, straight arm, shoulder over wrist, set your foot on the floor. Slide the blocks onto the mat, hands on the blocks, downward facing dog. Left leg up, inhale, look forward, step your left foot forward, spin your heel down, reach up and over, and here's your reverse warrior, and then side angle, bring the block to the outside of the leg right there, elbow aligns with the knee, or approximates there, reverse, half moon, Reaching the block to the to the mat and I'm lining up the edge of the block with my pinky toe Just like if you had your hand on the floor now press into the block lift the leg reach the opposite arm up draw the shoulder back Set your foot on the floor Nicely done slide the box or place the box on the floor palms on the box downward facing dog pedal your heels right here Walk your feet forward Keep your blocks right here. I'm just going to turn right there. Lift up. Inhale, reach up and stretch over your head. Bring your hands to your heart. Lift up your right leg. Lift it up. Put your hands on your hips like that. So balancing shoulders back, going into eagle pose. So bend your knees. Set your foot on the top of the block right there. So there's your supported eagle pose. Reach the right arm underneath the left so right leg is over the left right arm is under the left and if you can just pick the toes up like that just try and balance leveling up reach the arms set your toes on the block if you need to and then lift up and let's change sides carefully set your foot between the blocks right there but have the block close enough that your toes can reach. Now, eagle pose on the other side. So bend your hips first, then lift the leg up and over. Touch your foot to the block. Bring your arm. So my left leg is going over. My left arm is under. 
And then I'm gonna pick my toes up, squeeze in, maybe grab the, the calf with the toes, reach the arms, and then stand up, reach the arms, lift the knee carefully, look down and set your foot down on the floor. Let's do it again, practice. Chair pose, lift the left leg up, or right leg up. Tap the right foot over, touch the block with the toes. Right arm underneath your left, lift the toes. Maybe squeeze the toes behind the calf or just lift the toes off the block and balance. And you're done, lift up. Carefully set your foot down. Other side, here's your chair. Left up and over. Touch the block, left arm under, circle around or intertwine those arms, lift the toes, squeeze or grab the calf with the toes, reach the arms. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and reach up, stretch overhead, set your foot on the floor. Nicely done. All right, so let's. Take the blocks, move them to the front of your mat. Inhale and reach up. Separate your feet about the width of the mat, like that. Then exhale with a flat back fold over. Place one block between your feet. Place your hand and have it on the middle height, the highest height, or the lowest height. So your, but have your palms squared on the block, then reach the right arm up. Here's your folded twist. Press the hand into your block. Feel that stretch in the back of your leg. Bend your knees if you need to. If you're a taller person, this may be, you may be up higher like this, right? If you can, come down a little bit lower and then place your hand on the block again. Other side, press the hand into the block. Reach up, look up at your hand, keep pressing into the block, move the block to a different height if you need to. Reach, abs in, inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And then bring the hand down to the mat. Lengthen and look forward. Place both hands on your blocks. Heel toe your feet closer together and come to a seated position on the mat. So reach your legs straight. Place your right foot to the inner thigh and place your block at the, at, on the bottom of your foot like that. All right, so press your calf into the floor. This knee can just drop out to the side if you need to support the leg. No problem, just put the block nicely underneath the knee. Super nice. Now walk your hands forward. Grab the block with your hands if you can. If you can't do that, just place your hands on the mat. And your nose facing your knee right here. So walk your hands forward, grab your block if you can. Inhale and lift up, grab his knee, bring it in, place his foot on the other side right here, sit up tall, and then you're just going to turn towards the left shoulder. Pick your right foot up and bring it to your glute if you can. Then, so seated twist right here, not supported, no block needed, but press your hand into the mat right there, fingertips. Grab the leg and pull it in to your body as you turn. Now untwist and let's change sides. So left leg out, place the block on the bottom, block on the bottom of your foot, other foot at the inner thigh and your knee can come over to the side landing on a block gently. Now reach, walk your hands forward, leaning forward and then maybe grab your block. Inhale, exhale, and then lift up. You can move the block. Bring this right knee up. Place the right foot on the outside of your leg. Grab your leg and turn. Then maybe bring your heel over to your glute over here. Press your foot down right there. Turn your body, look over your shoulder. 
Inhaling and exhaling. Breathe in and breathe out. Take another deep breath in and then look forward. Nicely done. Place your feet together like this. But we're going to place the block between your feet right here. All right, so grab your feet and then bring your chest towards the mat and your nose or your forehead towards the block and just set it right there. And if you can, you can move your block down to a lower level and bring your forehead down. Just try. Not for long. One more breath. And then lift up your chest. Pigeon pose. Place the block forward or on the mat. Bring the left leg back and then turn towards the right leg. Face your mat. Point your knee towards the edge of the mat. Walk your arms forward and place your forehead on the block right there. Reach the arms. You can tuck the toes in. Press the back foot into the floor. Press that leg underneath you. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then lift up your head, walk your hands in, and let's just change sides. So sit on that hip and turn your knees over to the other side. Place your block this direction and extend the leg back. Point your knee to the outside edge of the mat and then place your forehead down. Put the top of your foot down, reach the arms. So square the body to the mat and reach. Inhale. And exhale, press the toes down, breathe in, and breathe out. Walk your hands in, move the block to the side, cross your legs and sit up tall. We've done it. You finished your class using blocks as your support or as your way to lengthen into poses. I hope you enjoyed that, and anytime you're practicing, especially if you're newer to practicing yoga, please use your blocks. Blocks are amazing for your practice and making it, just giving it a little bit of ease, but also uh, allowing you to reach further than you thought you could. So anyway, with that, bring your, the edge of your thumbs to the brow, the mind's eye, in gratitude. Bring the edge of the thumbs to the heart in thanks. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thanks so much for the practice. I enjoyed it. Have a great one.